top of our head. Mm -hmm. That said, we got a lot of rain <laughs> here in the forecast. It seems like whenever we talk about the drought, we're tracking showers. Irony at its finest. I know, maybe we need to keep doing these drought stories. Oh, yes, even though it's raining, though, and you might actually be getting a nice dousing of rain over your lawn, we still want to keep in mind we got to conserve. Take a look at this system, though. This is a really impressive system. It's packing a lot of cold air and a lot of instability, and those thunderstorms that we promised you right here in the South Bay, firing off as we speak. We just had one lightning strike just to the east of San Jose and now the East Bay actually getting a little bit of lightning up there as well. Those are the two locations that we're the most concerned about as we head throughout the day today. And as I fly you in to San Jose, take a look at 101 doused with rain all the way from San Martin through San Jose. And so if you are going to be driving around, please travel cautiously. I want to show you this impressive cell, western facing slope surrounding San Jose, lightning there, also near Tracy. And it's all just starting to intensify as we're getting that daytime heating. But you talk about the microclimates in the Bay Area and look at the sky over San Jose versus what we're seeing over San Francisco at this hour, almost completely clear and sunny. So like I said before, areas South of the Golden Gate Bridge, that's where we are going to be watching for this shower activity and thunderstorm activity. But the North Bay, you're looking okay for now. Also going to see mostly dry conditions as far south, I'd say, as San Mateo County. But everywhere else, even along the peninsula, looking towards more showers as we head deeper into the day. And that chance for thunderstorms will actually get better as well. I stopped that clock for you at 1 p.m. That's when we're expecting widespread activity. South and East Bay, same deal. Take you into tomorrow when we meet back here at 11 a.m. Still tracking some light shower activity for your Friday. If we see any strong storms develop, best location looks like Gilroy, Morgan Hill, and San Martin when it comes to the lower elevations. But the mountains, if you live in the high terrain, just remember when that thunder roars, you want to seek shelter. 20% chance for strong storms as we get into this afternoon, and we could see maybe a tenth of an inch of rain accumulated on the valley floor. If we get a strong thunderstorm cell, though, say one moves over Gilroy, we could be talking about a quarter of an inch to even a half of an inch of rain. We're also expecting a chance for more nickel sized hail and yes, yeah, strong gusty winds up to 50 miles per hour. So here's the deal. Take you into the next five days looking nice and comfortable for your Friday. We're going to clear you out Friday afternoon done with those thunderstorms at that point for the South Bay Mother's Day weekend looking great. Low 70s for us 60s in San Francisco. Meanwhile, your East Bay Valley's dry air mass returns and temperatures are going to be in the low to mid 70s. So really staying at average when it comes to our temperatures. We just have this wild pattern for today and that will continue into tomorrow. Right now back to you Scott and Chris and breaking news. All right. Thanks Christina. Yeah, that breaking news out on the peninsula.